Installing and activation of the app. Firstly, you should install the app on your smartphone or tablet. Type Discovery 3D in the search bar of the Google Play Store or Apple Store. The page of the app will appear. Tap the Get button to install the app. The icon of the app will appear on the screen after being installed. After the application is installed on your phone or tablet, the following information will be needed in order to activate the device. Device Serial Number You should type the serial number, ID number, of your device. Name and Surname Your device is being registered with the serial number and your name. So, you should type your name and surname in this area. Email you should type your email so that you can be informed about the updates of the app or the device. You will be informed with an email by the ground tech firm whenever an update is available. Region You should choose your country. You should do this in order to access local settings of your region. After typing this information, tap on the register button. If the serial number you typed is correct, the activation is done. Connection with the device After the activation, the app will appear on the home screen. To review the data you have received with the device, first you must have a wireless connection with the device. For this, turn on the Wi-Fi connection in the Connections area of the Settings section in your mobile phone or tablet. Perform a Wi-Fi scan. After the scan is complete, you'll see your device and its serial number. When you tap your device name, Discovery, in the list, it will require a password. Type the password in small letters as Discovery, D-I-S-C-O-V-E-R-Y. Then tap the Connect button. Transferring data from device to tablet or phone. You can transfer the files stored on the device to your phone or tablet to keep them or review them without transferring. To do this, tap the Remote Files option in the bottom bar. You can see your scan list on the device on this screen. To transfer and store the files on your device, tap and hold the file you want to transfer from the recorded files that appear on the phone or tablet screen. The files selected in the selected mode will appear in different colors. Select which files you want to transfer. Then tap the Save icon in the top bar. A pop-up will appear stating that the files you selected have been transferred to your phone or tablet. You can review your files without transferring them to your tablet or phone. To do this, tap the file you want to review. It will transfer you to the 3D analysis screen. You can make detailed analysis on the screen. 3D Viewer and Graphic Analysis On this screen, you can analyze your data graphically and numerically. You can move the graph with your finger to see it from different angles. You can tap the Reset icon to return to the top view. You must tap the screen with two fingers to zoom in and out, and with three fingers to move the graph left and right. Settings You can turn the features on and off on the graphic by tapping the Settings icon in the upper right corner of the screen. In the Settings section, tap the Grid icon to turn on and off the grids on the graph. To review the taken values numerically, tap Data Grid. You'll see all data numerically on the graph. You can tap the Data Grid icon again to turn it off. In order to review in wireframe view, tap the wireframe icon. In order to review the graph in different color shades, you can choose different colors in the Graphic Color section. Tap Default to go back to the default colors. In order to change the background color of the 3D viewer, you can choose between black, gray, or white in the background color section. On the 3D viewer home screen, you can turn the bar icon on or off that shows the graph percentage values on the right side by tapping it. Graphic Analysis, Smart Analysis Functions and Calculating the Depth When you review the data that you have received graphically and numerically, you can see whether there is any variation in the result of the scan. 
In the graphic obtained as a result of the scan, red color represents metallic objects and objects with high magnetic effect. Blue color represents cavities, holes, and fill dirt underground. Green color represents standard land that has no magnetic effect. Yellow and orange color represent mineral structures, mineral soil, and objects that have relatively less magnetic effect. While doing graphic analysis, firstly, you should pay attention to the colors and shapes in the graph. To differentiate between metal and mineral, whereas metallic objects have a sharp shape, minerals are usually spread and scattered. Whereas metallic objects are in red color, mineral structures are usually in yellow and orange. The most important feature that distinguishes metallic objects from minerals is that there is a significant numerical difference between the metallic object and the soil in the data received. To review these numerical values, tap the depth icon in the 3D viewer function. Then tap the depth analyzer icon. With the depth analyzer function, you can see the signal values corresponding to each square in the data you have received and you can see the point depth information by choosing the soil type. When you tap the signal frame that you want to evaluate, you will see the changing values in the open window at the bottom. As first of these values, you see the dirt level. The soil value helps us see the differences in the graph. There should be at least 15 units of increase between the soil shown in green and the metallic objects shown in red on the graph. For example, if the ground level is 210, it must have a value of at least 225 to 230 to be a metallic object. If there is a difference of a few units, this data is a mineral. Objects that have not been under the ground for a long time, are new, and have less magnetic effects may also increase a few units in number. If there is too much difference between soil and objects with magnetic effect, it is very likely to be a worthless metal. For example, when the ground level is 80 units, the magnetic object is 200 units. Metallic objects that have been buried under the ground for a long time can be detected more easily. In cavity data, underground cavities such as tunnels, chambers, and tombs created artificially under the ground are seen as blue in the graphic. In the case of a collapse or earth filling in the underground cavities, the cavity data will be in light blue, turquoise, and light green shades. If it has a distinctive shape and is suitable for the structure you are looking for, for example, if you are looking for a grave, the blue area on the graph should have a rectangular and grave size shape. There must be at least 15 units decrease between the soil shown in green on the graph and the cavity shown in blue. For example, if the ground level is 150, the cavity data should have a value of 135 to 130. If there is a difference of several units, this data is the gaps created by objects such as stones or superficial soil differences. For point depth information, you must first choose the type of soil that is suitable for your scanning area. Tap Select Dirt Type for Soil Type Selection. Select the type of soil suitable for your scanning area. If you have no idea about the soil structure, you can make an average calculation by taking depth information in more than one soil type. If there is no object with magnetic effect or a different anomaly underground in the measurements, you will see the depth information as zero or very low numbers in the application. Tap the General Depth option to see the total depth in the scanning area. By moving the bar in the opened window, you can lower or lift up the depth line. These values give you total general depth information. The data in the depth information is made with a certain calculation. This information gives you an idea inferentially. This depth information is not accurate nor irreversible information. You can use the Smart Soil Analysis function to get an idea about your scan and soil structure. When you tap the Smart Soil Analyzer option, your application will report the calculation result about your scan after it calculates for a while. It will give you information about the type of soil scanned, such as normal soil, mineral soil, or soil with cavities. If the scanning is done in a narrow area, for example, if the number of search lines is low or the number of signals is low, the Smart Soil Analysis function will notify you to make a healthier scanning. For healthier scans, you need to scan large areas.
for example, 10 signal counts and 10 scan lines. With the measurement function, you can measure the distance between any two points on the graph. When you tap the point where you want to start the measurement, the start node is added to that point. You can then continue to add a measuring node by tapping the area you want to measure. You can see the distance between each two nodes in the section below and the total of the distances between all nodes in total distance box at the top of the window. With this measurement, you can have an idea about the size of the cavity such as objects, chambers, and tunnels in the scan result. Filters. In order to apply filters to the data that you received, you can use filters. You can access the filters by tapping the filters icon on the 3D viewer screen. Using the color filter, you can reduce shades of red, green, and blue colors or remove on the graph. Depending on your search purpose, you can turn specific colors on or off to review only metal or just cavity data. Using the color intensity option, you can increase or decrease the blue or red color intensity. Thus, you can make the differences between the values more prominent. Files and Settings When you transfer the files stored in the device, they are also stored on your phone or tablet. You can access the files on the device from the Remote Files section, and the files that you have transferred and saved on your tablet or phone from the Files section. Tap the file you want to analyze in detail. It will switch to the 3D viewing screen. You can delete the files you have transferred and saved on your tablet or phone, Tap and hold the file you want to delete. The selected files will appear in different colors. When you tap the delete icon in the top bar, the selected files will be deleted. You can access the application settings by touching the settings icon in the bottom bar of the application home screen. In this screen, in the languages section, you can change the app's appearance language. In the activation status section, you can see the activation info of your application. In the Help section, you can see information about the usage and the user guide of the app. In the About section, you can see the version information of the app.